Hello, if you have an electric bike or you're considering buying one, then you'll know that they're quite a bit heavier than most non-electric bikes. And if you've got to move it up and down stairs, then that could give you a bit of a problem. For example, if you don't have a lift or an elevator to help you. My name's Chris Terrell, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the technique that I've used in the last few years to move bikes successfully up and down stairs and avoid back strain and avoid damaging the paint and the plaster work. I'm going to demonstrate using this electric bike here. To help with the lift, I'm going to use this adjustable strap with a large plastic hook attached to it. And I say more about these in another video that I've linked to up here and I've put a link in the description below. I put the strap over my shoulder and I've adjusted the length of it so that the hook is down just below my hip, round about where my thumb is now. I'm going to attach the hook into the frame of the bike as close to the balance point of the bike's weight as I can because that'll make it both easier to lift and safer to manoeuvre. It's really important to use good lifting technique, so keeping your back straight and using your legs to do the pushing and lifting. This technique works well for me, but it's your responsibility to make an assessment as to whether this technique is suitable for your body and the circumstances you're going to be doing the lifting in. I'm putting the hook into this part of the bike, this little triangle in the frame, just behind the pedals on the left hand side. It's a good place for the hook to go because it's on the balance point of the bike, or as close to it as I can get. Right, we've got the bike upstairs, and if you found this valuable, it would be great if you click the like button. On the way up the stairs, I carried it with the front wheel in front of me and the handlebars in front of my face, so I could control them. But on the way down, I find it's much easier to have the bike pointing backwards on the way down the stairs. So I put the strap onto my other shoulder and just lifted it in the same place as before, and now it's ready to go down. Now the only disadvantage here is I've got the handlebars in the back of my head sometimes, but I can still control them to turn the front wheel to get through the door and just avoid the wheel bashing against the side of things. And I can control the front of the bike by holding the seat or the seat post. It still leaves a hand free to steady myself on the wall or on the banister, and the wheel doesn't interfere with the steps on the way down. So how was it to carry the e-bike upstairs using this method? Well, in this trial, I found it was okay. It was obviously heavier than my standard bike, but it was certainly something which I could realistically have done in the last two apartments where I lived, where I had to do this pretty well every day. In the end, it really depends on you, the bike, and the nature of the stairs which you have to go up and down. A tip that I would give you is if you're considering buying a bike and you know you have to go up and down stairs with it, measure and check any tight turns that you have to make and check that against the size of the bike that you're considering. Of course, there may be some situations where the only realistic option is a folding bike, and that's something which I might look at in a future video. Watch the next video for five extra tips I can give you, which just make all of this a bit easier and less of a hassle. Please click the like button if you found this is helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.